next event on the track, the women's 400 meters hurdles final. Blackett of Barbados set a new Barbadian record of 54.74 in the semi-final, the Central American champion this season. Tonja Buford Bailey, the Olympic bronze medalist, world championship silver medalist in 1995, five times runner-up in the American championships. Not at a best form this uh, season, one has to say that. A best time so far, 54.05. deep in concentration. Now, Nezda Bidouin of Morocco. Much improved this year. A world championship and Olympic silver or semi-finalist in 1991 and 92 respectively. But this, a real chance. It will, it's very difficult to judge how she'll go, but we must not discount her. She showed in the semi-final that she can challenge Dion Hemmings, the Olympic champion, the world championship bronze medalist, from 1995. But Hemmings now is a better hurdler, a better technician. She is strong and she is confident and she has got lane four. Kim Bat, the Olympic silver medalist, the defending world champion, the world record holder, set in Gothenburg in 1995 in that final. Not quite the form we've seen in the past, but she did win the semi-final in 53.67. She's been there before. Tatyana Tereshuk of the Ukraine. Olympic semi-finalist, was fifth in the last World Championship final. Broke the Ukrainian record in the semi-final, took it to 54.02. Sue Smith of Ireland set the Irish record in a heat of 54.61. Proved herself to be quite a competitor. She's not afraid, and I would think that she'll go out very, very quickly. In the seventh lane, she has Debbie Parrish, the Jamaican to chase, who set a season's best of 54.72 in the semi-finals. She was fourth in the Olympic final in Atlanta last year and Commonwealth bronze medalist in 1994. So there's such an array of talent in this final and it's very difficult to predict Hemmings the Olympic champion last season is very very difficult to beat these days just one little question mark and Bidouin showed such flair in the semi-final to establish a new African record of 53.48 it was the first time under 54 seconds and signaled a big big advance Hemmings, though, has the feeling of a Love champion. It, it, it. So does Bat. Bidouin, the Moroccan, goes down in the third lane. Blackett, Buford Bailey, Bidouin, Hemmings, Batten, Tedashuk, Smith, Paris. The final of the women's 400 meter hurdle. Now the approach to the first hurdle absolutely vital and Hemmings has gone off pretty quickly and closed down a couple of metres uh, on uh, the defending champion Kim Batten and Batten having to really work hard to hold off the Olympic champion right on the inside Blackett of Barbados going well but, and uh, Buford Bailey oh look how easy Hemmings looks at the moment Bidouin has gone off slowly as always but which is very strong down the home straight and certainly Hemmings leading at the moment and Smith of Ireland has gone well at this stage and now finds herself under pressure Hemmings and Batten the big two and Batten looking under stress now as Hemmings comes through on the shoulder Hemmings leads Batten in second place these two at the moment with Tereshuk the Ukrainian in third place with Bidwan closing down very rapidly in the final stages the Olympic champion Hemmings if she can get off with rhythm and Bidwan is closing down she was all the danger and Bidwan is the world champion and Hemmings takes silver Batten takes bronze we said watch out for her we didn't know how she would perform but we do now 52.97 and it came off a very very slow first 200 meters and that uh, 
is unbelievable. 52.97 for a Moroccan who, well, when we began, we said she's much improved. And when Sally made the point in the studio that she went off very slowly, but we must watch for her, I had exactly the same view, because the way she dominated in that uh, semi-final, beat Hemmings there, well, it showed that there was perhaps a little more fuel in the tank. And that was one of the surprises, and that's what makes these championships so worthwhile. Smith, the Irish woman, did her job. She went off well. Tereshuk went off well. And look at Hemmings. She ran the fastest first 200 metres. She really did. Bidwell nowhere in it at this stage, just going out of your shot on the right. She's about four metres down on the Olympic champion. Kim Batten must have felt the pressure of Hemmings here, and perhaps the two of them destroyed each other. Smith, second from the outside, running well. Tereshuk of the Ukraine now beginning to see but she's got a chance, and right on the inside, Bidouin changing down, stuttering, establishing a rhythm once again. But look at the margin of advantage that the Olympic champion had, and she was run down and closed down. And the Moroccan came off the last hurdle with such momentum that the Olympic champion had no answer. And Bidouin, Bidouin is the world champion, Hemmings is silver medalist, and Batten takes the bronze, and that was a magnificent performance, a big surprise, but a newcomer on the scene. Well, Sally, sitting there in the studio, I wonder what thoughts were going through your mind. Uh, this young woman, to run off such a slow first 200 metres, had such momentum, didn't she, over the last two? Oh, you know, so slow in that first 200, I just thought, you know, she's, she's out of this. There's no way that she's going to be able to make up. And uh, uh, the, the power and the strength, and literally just in that last sort of like 50 metres. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I did say, watch her. And uh, I think if she committed herself a little bit more in that first two, you know, she's uh, something that, you know, the world record's going to come for her in the next couple of years. Well, I mean, certainly Hemmings, Sally, just to interrupt you there, Hem Hemmings has come on with her hurdling over the years and really deserved the Olympic title, but with an advantage like this, we wouldn't have expected her to be beaten, would we? Yeah, she seemed to sort of stutter a little bit into that hurdle, and you can just see her slightly tiring, but uh, as you said, her technique over the hurdle, that's how she's you know, got her confidence this year. She knows she's hurdling better, and she's really a strong athlete, and I didn't think I'd see you know, someone come past her like this, but uh, yeah, this is uh, what it's all about, I suppose, at major championships, and uh, you know, She's going to be there for a few years now, this Moroccan. Well, the world record at 52.61, she was only three tenths outside of it. I think the point you made, that if she gets her first 200 metres right, well, clearly, she can break the world record. Yeah, I think she's got to believe in herself a little bit more on that, that first 200, because you know, she's got the power there. She can afford to, to go off faster and still have that strength at the end of the race. But, you know, that's how she wants to run it, and she just won a gold medal running it the way that she wants to. I think she must have run and evenly paced 400 meter hurdles there. Yeah, I think um, Dion Hemmings obviously did go off a little bit too fast. Probably the one that, um, you know, was in, a, in good control at 200 was probably Kim Batten, but, uh, you know, she just didn't have the, the strength of the ride at the end. Well, thanks, Sally, for that. We'll now bring us all up to date with the full result of that uh, final. Bidouin's time, 52.97, and another record fall. Hemmings, the Olympic champion, is now the world silver medalist, 53.09 and Kim Batten, the defending champion, 53.52, the bronze medalist. Sue Smith, the Irish woman, 55.25. She went for it, paid and suffered a little bit in the home straight, but still a lot of credit to her.